What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today it's going to be a pretty bad one because the Mythic Spectre has officially come out. This is the very first Mythic character skin in Call of Duty Mobile history and holy fucking fuck, it is expensive as fucking fuck. I am genuinely lost for words off of what I just saw and what I've I actually witnessed. Keep in mind, I did not buy the skin. I wasn't planning to buy the Spectre skin. You guys already know my stance on character skins. I don't care. I care about the gun skins because I look at that more in multiplayer. But you would think that legendary gun skins or I guess mythic gun skins would be more expensive than the character skin. And again, keep in mind, multiplayer, you're really only ever in first person perspective. So you're only gonna see the hand. <laughs> I, I don't even I don't, I don't even know where to start with this video. It's it's crazy how expensive the draw is in general and just how much is to upgrade. But let me just give you kind of I guess a subtle idea of how expensive it is. So my friend Parker, he he saved up about maybe like 40,000 cod points, maybe a little bit more. And yeah, he bought the draw and everything and he maxed out the character. The character, to max it out, was actually more than what he had. So he had to spend more than $400 worth of COD points in order to get the character skin and to max it out. Normally, if you ever wanted to fully max out a Mythic gun skin, that would be about $300. The character skin is far more expensive than that because it has a lot more features. Features that are, let's be honest, most of them are kind of like pointless other than the kill counter but then again i mean just tap on the fucking on the fucking icon on the top left of the screen and then you see the score you know it started to hit me extremely hard the moment that i i guess witnessed him buying the draw because it's just it's like how are like how are they getting away with this this was far worse than fucking supply drops because we still technically have a supply drop system where you literally have to gamble to see how much how many mythic coins you get to upgrade your character or mythic cards if you want to upgrade a mythic uh, gun skin but dude like spending four hundred dollars just for a fucking character skin dude that is way too fucking much you could literally get that in black ops cold war or any of the recent call of duties for 24 fucking dollars this has to be like the most dirtiest fucking microtransaction business practice that i think i've ever seen i don't know if there's anything worse than this but holy fuck, I mean, when I mean dirty, I mean like shit on top of vomit, riddled with fucking herpes and AIDS and HIV, like holy fuck. I was trying to get myself the M16 Legendary, but I noticed that like immediately you start off by spending 50 COD points and then it goes higher and higher. And then like, I'm already at 2,800. I didn't spend any more after that. Uh, keep in mind, I will probably get it later on down the line, probably tomorrow, I'm not sure. But dude, you gotta be kidding me. This is way too much for a fucking skin. Well, you're normally playing the same amount probably for the legendary M16, but like there's just a huge gap right after because he said it the draw ended at 6700. So it's just like, man. And then you have to upgrade all like certain areas of Spectre. Like you get an arm and then you get like a slightly different kill counter. It it measures how many kills you have obviously but also measures your score it could also measure how many people are on your team right now but again why the fuck would you need that especially like in search and destroy when you it the game literally tells you on the mini map or even if you're like the last one alive the, the announcer will fucking tell you if you're the last one alive like you're paying for extra features that you don't even fucking need that's why I said before, if you were ever going to make a mythic character, have it change the HUD or something other than that. Like, because at least with the legend, the mythic skins, at least you were, they were able to change some stuff about the screen. Like, you know, the medals, the fucking card on the side, whenever you get like a, a multi kill or a kill streak or some shit like that, at least that was kind of unique. And you even get attachment skins, but dude, come on. You have to spend like extra hundred dollars just to like, what? Like get the... To have your fucking kill counter spin? Like, it's it's ridiculous. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. And then you get, like, two different fucking uh, shadow blades. One mythic shadow blade, and then you get, like, another. It's like, dude, what the fuck is the difference? You only made it pink. It's ridiculous how expensive it is. And I, I hope to God someone other than me 
says something about it because they 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 can't keep getting away with shit like this, man. It's too much. That's why I've always said for mythic cards, or I guess in this case also mythic coins, that you allow us to at least grind for it while we're using the mythic skin or something, so we don't have to pay an extra hundred fifty dollars or two hundred dollars in this case to max out a skin. It's bullshit. And look, I understand a lot of you guys could say, well, it's optional. You don't have to buy it. I mean, that's cool. But for all those people that want to, that are very dedicated to getting skins, it's like, it's excessive. I know it's a little bit more beneficial in Battle Royale to use the skin since you can enjoy it in third person. Unlike in multiplayer where it's only first person, it's still kind of stretching it, dude. It's it's too excessive for the way it is. And now let's talk about the other feature, the one that's probably noticeable right off the bat and the one that probably pisses me off beyond measure, probably the most out of everything else that's from this thing. So for a long time, we've been asking for a change in the multiplayer lobby background. Obviously, a lot of people are tired of firing range. They want something else, maybe something that we could get every every new season or so. But we, we've talked to them in the past and they said that they were going to change the lobby background at some point. It never happened until now. They did promise that, but not in the way that you think. They only said that they... Oh my god. Like, they only said that they changed the lobby background, but they did not say it was locked behind a fucking $400 paywall. So throughout the entire time that they said that they were working on something like that, they meant it for the fucking Mythic Spectre. They never meant it for the players, just the normal players in just the general lobby. And they made that promise again within the last blog post that they were going to do that at some point. <laughs> Keep in mind, there's two seasons for like the next major update. What do you think happens after that? We do get another Mythic character. So don't, don't fucking, don't fall for what they're saying because it's not what you think. They're not changing the lobby background for just the normal players. They're only doing that for the mythic characters. The thing is that they just never specified what they were actually doing it for because obviously they're probably not they were probably not able to talk about it. But to say that they were working on it giving people hope that it was actually going to change but only to lock it behind a paywall without even mentioning it. That's that's fucking dirty, dude. It's like if Aether Crystal was never fixed and it still didn't have its 3D effect, but they said that they were working on it and then they, they eventually do fix it, but they lock the crystallized effect behind a paywall. That's basically what they did. I hope to God that they don't watch this video because that, that, that what I just said, they might just get some ideas off of that. Forget I said that. Just, you, you never heard, you didn't hear that from me. But what I think really happened is that knowing that you know, when it comes to mythic weapons, they buff those said weapons uh, so that people would be more inclined to buy it. Obviously, if it was expensive, if it was as expensive as it was with the mythic character skin, they wouldn't get away with it as easily because then it would be like, oh, it's it's really going to be pay to win. But since it's a character skin that makes no fucking difference, they could literally put a price tag higher than a mythic weapon skin and just get away with it because, again, it doesn't provide any sort of competitive advantage. Uh, oh my god. I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's it's crazy. Like, I'm actually just... I'm so fucking... Like, I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say, despite the fact I've been, like, talking for over seven minutes. But it's just... It's just... It's, it's crazy. Like, I can't be the only one that thinks this, right? Am, am I the only crazy one here? Look, if you're going to buy it, just just don't even bother upgrading it. Or don't even fucking buy it. Like, just don't fucking buy it. But, man, like, I honestly hope that the Creator Club members actually got this for free. I really hope that they did. Because if they didn't do that, oh, man. Because I know they're very, like, con the Creator Club members are always prone to getting, like, free legendaries. And I think, I I'm not sure about free mythics, but mainly free legendaries. But then again, they could technically get free mythics because, I mean, sometimes they're given like 20,000 COD points, so that's more than enough to buy a mythic anyways. But, jeez, like, I, I... Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's, it's too much, man. It's, it's way too much. I wouldn't be surprised if they had some sort of, like, discount at some point within these two months. And that's kind of, like, the reason why they had 
like they have like two months to like hand this thing out or to sell it because no one in the right mind is going to complete the whole entire thing immediately unless like they're really wealthy or they've been saving up but again none of us really knew how expensive this was going to be until now so yeah i mean parker was kind of right to not parker not parker the slayer but my friend parker was right to not now to have all that those cod points saved up because dude holy shit but i suggest like just going the cheap way man just get the just get the m16 or something that's what i'm aiming for <laughs> Uh, I knew the mythic character skin was going to be this expensive. I, I knew it was going to be expensive. I didn't think it was going to be this expensive. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. It's an awesome skin, but I mean, I don't want to pay 400 bucks to be a Power Ranger. That's just me. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. And I'll see you guys next time.